What can I drink if I have diabetes? Having diabetes means that you have to be aware of everything you eat or drink. Knowing the number of carbohydrates that you ingest and how they may affect your blood sugar is crucial. Whether you're at home or at a restaurant, here are the most diabetes-friendly beverage options. 1. Water. When it comes to hydration, water is the best option for people with diabetes. That's because it won't raise your blood sugar levels. High blood sugar levels can cause dehydration. Drinking enough water can help your body eliminate excess glucose through urine. The Institute of Medicine recommends men drink about 13 cups, 3.08 L, of day and women drink about 9 cups. If plain water doesn't appeal to you, create some variety by adding slices of lemon, lime, or orange. Adding sprigs of flavorful herbs, such as mint, basil, or lemon balm. Crushing a couple of fresh or frozen raspberries into your drink. 2. Tea. Research has shown that green tea has a positive effect on your general health. It can also help reduce your blood pressure and lower harmful LDL cholesterol levels. Some research suggests that drinking up to 6 cups, 1.42 L, a day trusted source may lower your risk of type 2 diabetes. Whether you choose green, black, or herbal tea, you should avoid those with added sugars. For a refreshing taste, make your own iced tea using a chilled fragrant tea, such as rooibos, and add a few slices of lemon. If you don't mind caffeine, Earl Grey and Jasmine green tea are also great options. 3. Coffee. A 2012 study found that drinking coffee might help lower your risk of developing type 2 diabetes. Researchers found that the level of risk dropped even lower for people who drank 2 to 3 cups per day. This also held true for people who drank 4 or more cups per day. This applied to both caffeinated and decaffeinated coffees, so if caffeine makes you jittery, feel free to grab a cup of decaf. As with tea, it's important that your coffee remain unsweetened. Adding milk, cream, or sugar to your coffee increases the overall calorie count and may affect your blood sugar levels. 4. Vegetable juice. While most 100% fruit juice is 100% sugar, you can try tomato juice or a vegetable juice alternative. Make your own blend of green leafy vegetables, celery, or cucumbers with a handful of berries for a flavorful supply of vitamins and minerals. Remember to count the berries as part of your carbohydrate total for the day. 5. Low-fat milk. Dairy products should be included in your diet each day. They contain important vitamins and minerals, but they do add carbohydrates to your diet. Always choose unsweetened, low-fat, or skim versions of your preferred milk. You should limit yourself to 2 to 3 8-ounce glasses a day. You can also try dairy-free, low-sugar options, such as fortified nut or coconut milk. Also, many dairy milk alternatives lack vitamin D and calcium unless they're fortified. Many nut milk varieties contain a minimal amount of protein. The three worst drinks for diabetes. Avoid sugary drinks whenever possible. Not only can they raise your blood sugar levels, but they can also account for a significant portion of your daily recommended caloric intake. 1. Regular soda. Soda takes the top spot on the list of drinks to avoid. On average, one can has a whopping 40 grams of carbohydrates and 150 calories. This sugary drink has also been linked to weight gain and tooth decay, so it's best to leave it on the store shelf. Instead, reach for sugar-free fruit-infused water or tea. 2. Energy drinks. Energy drinks can be high in both caffeine and carbohydrates. Research has shown that energy drinks not only spike your blood sugar, but they may also cause insulin resistance. This can increase your risk for type 2 diabetes. Too much caffeine can cause nervousness, increase your blood pressure, lead to insomnia. All of these can affect your overall health. 3. Sweetened or unsweetened fruit juices. Although 100% fruit juice is fine in moderation, all fruit juices can add a high amount of carbohydrates to your diet and a pure, natural, sugar. This combination can wreak havoc on your blood sugar and increase your risk for weight gain. Fruit-flavored drinks or punches may contain as much sugar as a full-calorie soda. If you have a fruit juice craving that won't fade, be sure you pick up a juice that's 100% pure and contains no added sugars. Also, 
limiting your portion size to 4 ounces, 0.12 L, which will reduce your sugar intake to only 3.6 teaspoons, 15 grams. You might consider adding a splash or two of your favorite juice to sparkling water instead. 4. Diet Soda According to a 2014 artificial sweeteners, such as those found in diet soda, have been accused of negatively affecting the bacteria in your gut. This may increase insulin resistance, which can cause or worsen diabetes. 5. Alcoholic Beverages If you have high blood pressure or nerve damage from your diabetes, drinking alcohol may worsen these conditions. Alcohol can cause a drop in blood sugar during the next several hours after ingestion. This is especially important for those who take insulin or other medications that can cause hypoglycemia or low blood sugars. Some distilled spirits are typically mixed with sugar-containing sodas or juices which can raise blood sugars. The men drank alcoholic beverages had an increased risk for type 2 diabetes. High intakes showed an increased risk for pre-diabetes or type 2 diabetes, while a moderate intake of wine was associated with a reduced risk for type 2 diabetes. Some studies have shown a beneficial effect of red wine on diabetes, though the evidence remains uncertain. If you're planning to drink an alcoholic beverage, red wine may be a good choice as it has some antioxidant properties and can be lower in carbohydrates. Sweeter tasting wines do have more sugar content. Moderate consumption of red wine as part of a healthy diet didn't promote weight gain and didn't increase any harmful metabolic effects in persons with type 2 diabetes. Guidelines recommend that those with diabetes limit consumption to one drink or less per day for women and two drinks or less per day for men. One drink is considered 5 ounces, 0.15 L, of wine, 1.5 ounces, 0.04 L, of distilled spirits, or a 12-ounce beer. The bottom line. When it comes to selecting a drink, keep it simple. Choose water whenever possible. Unsweetened tea and all sugar-free beverages are also good options. Natural juices and skim milk are generally fine in moderation. Thanks for watching video.